Question number one. Can you tell us about yourself? This question is the most important not only because it's the very first question of your interview, but this is the only opportunity to sell yourself as the best candidate for this job. You have to make sure that this answer is tailored to the position at hand, meaning only talk about yourself in the relevance to this position. Talk about your past experience in information technology and stay away from irrelevant personal stuff. Stick to the facts about yourself because if you say something that is not true, the interviewer may follow up with a question that you cannot answer. Question number two. What is a firewall? Firewall prevents connections between two or multiple sources. It basically blocks any incoming or outgoing traffic. Firewalls can be in software or hardware forms. Question number three. What is TCP IP? TCP is a transmission control protocol that deals with establishing a connection between computers before any data is being sent. In other words, it acts as a highway for data packets being sent back and forth used by various protocols like HTTP or FTP. TCP also sorts out data packet receive order. Question number four. Can you explain the difference between HTTP and HTTPS? HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, used by a majority of websites as means of transmitting website data and it allows for use of hyperlinks. This protocol mostly uses TCP port 80. HTTPS is a secure version of HTTP that allows for identity verification and low-level encryption using TCP port 443. Question number five. What is a proxy or a proxy server? Proxy deals with filtering network traffic in a sense of preventing access to certain websites and can even monitor user web activity. To put it simply, it can block certain websites from being accessed but it can also act as a measure of hiding the true origin and point of access. Question number six. Can you explain what UDP is? UDP stands for User Datagram Protocol. Unlike TCP, UDP is constantly broadcasting a connection signal which can allow for faster connection speeds. With TCP, you have to wait for connection confirmation, which takes time. UDP sends out data without consideration of what it is that it's receiving it, sort of like radio signal. Question number seven. What is the loopback IP address? The loopback IP address is 127.0.0.1. As part of troubleshooting network connection issues, it is used to test network interface card for functionality. If you ping this IP address, it completes successfully, it means that your hardware is okay. Question number eight. What is DHCP? DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. The main function of DHCP is to handle distribution of IP addresses on a network. IP address assigned by DHCP server is dynamic, meaning that they are leased and released dynamically. To explain it further, if you connect a PC to a network, it will get a leased IP address, and if you disconnect or move that PC, 
it will be assigned a different one. Question number nine. What is FTP and port used? FTP is a file transfer protocol used to transfer large files between computers with built-in ability to pause transfer of data. Ports used by FTP are 20 and 21. Question number 10. What is SSH and port used? Also known as Secure Shell, is used to establish a secure connection between devices which can be anything from computers to switches. For example, you can use SSH at a cafe and connect to any device anywhere by establishing a configured secure shell tunnel between two devices, making the connection secure. Question number 11. What is the maximum length of UTP cable allowed? The maximum length of UTP is 90 to 100 meters for a single segment connection. If you have a switch or a repeater, it could compensate for this limitation. Question number 12. What are the layers of OSI model and how many? There are seven layers of OSI model, physical layer, data link, network, transport, session, presentation, and application. Question number 13. What is the job of network layer? A textbook answer for this question is that network layer deals with routing, switching, and transmission of data from one point to another, but this layer is also responsible for error handling and packet sequencing. Question number 14. Can you name different types of network cables? CAT5 runs at 100 megabits a second maximum speed. CAT5E can run up to 1 gigabit a second. And CAT6 can run up to 10 gigabits a second connection speeds. All cables are limited to 100 meter distance in order to run at optimum speed. Question number 15. What is a subnet mask? Subnet mask dictates the size of a network and also tells which part of the subnet our host IP address belongs to. Basically, you can have multiple subnetworks for a given IP address range. Question number 16. Can you tell me the difference between a workgroup and a domain? With a workgroup, you have a collection of systems that are connected to the same network, but have their own set of rules and permissions set at a local level. With a domain, you have a group of systems that are bound by the rules of centralized authentication server. In a domain, each system has to connect through the domain server using provided credentials. Question number 17. How would you determine connection path between local host and a server? A trace RT command is used to accomplish this test. Similar to ping command, with addition of letting us visualize which routers or switches are used to connect in reaching of our destination. Used for troubleshooting dead connections. Question number 18. 
Question number 18. Can you explain ipconfig? ipconfig command is used to determine TCP IP settings, DHCP configuration, DNS, default gateway, and subnet mask. It can also be used to change local DHCP settings, for example, ipconfig forward slash release and forward slash renew. Question number 19. What is VPN? A virtual private network allows users to create a secure connection over public network such as internet. This is commonly used by mobile workers in order to access companies network from a remote location. Question number 20. Why should we hire you? Just as important as the very first question on this list, this is your last chance to tell this employer why you are the best choice for this position. You should talk about your experience and how you could use that to benefit the company. Don't be afraid to exalt yourself without coming off as egocentric. Be polite and smile. As bonus advice, before going for an interview, make sure you do your research about the company you have interview with. The main reason for this is multiple interviews in which one of them may be with human resources. Thank you so much for watching. Truth be told, there are countless questions that you may come across and it's almost impossible to know which ones. I hope this video gives you the confidence that you may need in order to get this awesome job. Good luck to you all and have a wonderful day.